What's going on Dragon Ball fans? We have some brand new leaked images coming in in connection to the upcoming Dragon Ball Super episode for Dragon Ball Super episode 122 in which we have an inside first look as to the battle between both Universe 7 and Universe 11 which showcases a very interesting turn of events for both Jiren and Vegeta alongside Android 17 and Gohan and again if you guys are new to this channel and have a love and passion for Dragon Ball don't forget to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button alongside enabling all notifications by clicking that bell icon that way you guys can be notified and be the first to know whenever a brand new Dragon Ball video is posted onto this channel in connection to spoilers news information and discussions hashtag Dragon Ball squad as we kick off the first of many leaked images that having to involve Son Goku and Jiren now I don't know about you guys but does Goku look a lot taller to you either way we have the epic stare down between both Goku and Jiren as we understand they will fight once more in the upcoming episode which I cannot wait to see because now it looks like Goku is getting adjusted to Jiren a bit more than how he did before so this could be a sign that Goku could be doing a lot better but that's up to the audience to decide once Goku collides with Jiren once more but either way it is the definitive showdown the epic rematch that we've always wanted to see but the question is is Jiren going to beat down Goku far enough in obtaining Ultra Instinct again or is Jiren going to take Goku a tad bit more serious and then finally having to ring him out when the time comes who's to know as we transition into the next shot here and it looks like both android 17 and gohan seem to be a tad bit shocked or a bit startled as to what's happening out in the distance now my prognostication for this is i feel as if 17 and gohan are possibly witnessing the battle between vegeta and jiren now one of the many reasons for that i believe at least is because the light that's being given off right now the yellowish light could be a direct result of vegeta's final flash on jiren and we understand of course the final flash is yellowish in nature so this could be the final flash that perhaps maybe vegeta unleashes on jiren and with that everyone on the stage seems to have been caught off guard as to what's happening but either way it looks like gohan and 17 are definitely going to work together so make sure you guys keep your eyes out for both of them because to me at least since freeze is fighting dispo and jiren's fighting both goku and vegeta it's safe to assume that topo is going to be fighting both gohan and android 17 so if you guys are looking forward to this tag team make sure you guys go on ahead and slap a like down below as we transition into the third shot here and vegeta looks to be very damaged however despite whatever happens to him he's still standing his armor looks a bit chipped he looks like he actually took some sort of punishment from Jiren of course this could be as a result from his blast this could be as a result from the ending of the episode we don't really know but what is certain is Vegeta looks like he is badly injured and even with that being said even with all the marks on his body with his armor starting to you know pretty much get chipped here and there it looks like he's actually still standing on his own two feet which is good because a lot of us are actually curious and wondering as to what the end result might be and judging based on the you know clouds and the smoke behind them it looks like this is going to be as an end result of someone's blast and that blast can only come from Jiren so I'm once again I'm gonna make the prognostication in saying that Vegeta seems to have survived a very deadly attack from Jiren and still standing on his own two feet so once again you got to give Vegeta props for this because not many people would be able to stand up after that as we transition into the fourth shot here and this looks incredible the thumbnail of the video super saiyan blue vegeta colliding against jiren now jiren looks like he's actually getting pushed back now what's interesting about this shot and the overall preview as a whole as we are going to talk about future previews on this channel it looks like vegeta is more or less on the offensive than how jiren is jiren looks like he's more or less on the defensive side while vegeta is coming after him as of course you guys can tell from his fist his fist is ball up and it looks like he is in pursuit for Jiren so you guys can expect Vegeta to go all in he's going to be the one on the offensive while Jiren's the one that's going to be getting pushed back but either way we understand that despite what Vegeta does it seems to have little to no effect but Jiren looks like he's actually doing some sort of like bodybuilding Mr. Olympia kind of like pose down with Vegeta while he's coming after him so either way I love Jiren's portrayal here because he looks like he's being unfazed I mean obviously he's getting pushed back but despite Despite what Vegeta does according to spoilers it's going to fail either way so as we transition into the next shot here and we have everyone on the tournament stage be very shocked and surprised as to what's happening so does anyone else notice 
that there is a god of destruction behind Kuriden and Ten Shinhan that isn't Beerus. Yes, it's Arak. So what the heck is Arak doing sitting behind some of the Universe 7 fighters is beyond me. But it looks like everyone is displaying concern. And I can only make the assumption that this look of concern has to go towards Vegeta. Again, this is going to be a very Vegeta-centric like episode. So with that being said, make sure you guys keep your eyes out on Vegeta because he is going to be the main focus. And I can only make the assumption that, you know, the look of concern here is for Vegeta's character. So again, A-Rack is there. And also there was another angel sitting behind both Kuriden and, and, and Ten Shinhan, and it's not we. So, again, different outfits and a different God of Destruction as we transition into the next shot here, and Goku looks ready. So, not much going on here other than the idea that Goku is pretty much preparing for Jiren as we also transition into the next shot here and it looks like Jiren is also awaiting Goku both of them look so badass I cannot wait for this episode and Takahashi I think did an outstanding job in pretty much detailing both Jiren and Goku in this episode as we transition into the final shot here and Gohan looks to fire off a deadly Kamehameha so once again we can only make the assumption that this Kamehameha Ha is going to be something that's going to be more more or less focused on Topo but I would like to know from you guys as to where you guys stand on Gohan using the Kamehameha because despite what's being said Gohan and 17 are working together and it looks like Jiren is going to completely decimate Vegeta to some people that may be a good thing other people may disagree and saying well Vegeta has to have some sort of shine but in the end having to look at everything that's being shown it looks like everybody's in trouble and mostly for universe 7 because everyone else seems to be a, a tad bit calm cool collected in terms of Topo, Dispo and Jiren but it looks like it's more or less the universe 7 warriors that are having a tough time getting through this because it looks like they have no sort of chance in even putting a dent within universe 11 but this is where you guys come in post your comments down below what are your overall thoughts on vegeta looking very damaged very injured but he's still in the fight what are your overall thoughts on gohan and 17 having to work together what are your overall thoughts on goku having to fight jiren so early because i spoke to a lot of people and i've been reading your comments it seems like a lot of you guys either a don't want to see goku fight jiren so early or b for many of you, a lot of you guys were actually very excited in seeing what Goku can do against Jiren. So post your comments down below, guys. What are your overall expectations for this episode? Again, we are going to be reviewing this episode once it drops this Saturday. So make sure you guys come back on the channel for more information. I mean... For me, I just cannot wait to see how this plays out because it, within the next couple of weeks, we are going to get the definitive conclusion of this arc. So post your comments down below and also guys, don't forget to subscribe for more content such as this alongside being the first to know about all latest in Dragon Ball news, information, updates, and spoilers. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are excited for this week's upcoming episode, leave a like down below, tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comments section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.